Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Vassallo here with the rhinestoneworld.com. So in this TRW lab number two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to customize a soccer ball. So everybody knows when you have your soccer ball, you're gonna put your son or daughter's name on it and it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna grab a black Sharpie, write it on there, it's gonna fade off eventually, and it's not gonna look very great. So this is a test. This is something that we will revisit after we've used the, this soccer ball for a few weeks just to see how it holds up. But what we're gonna try and do is we're gonna try and press some of our Caesar Easy Weed Stretch to this soccer ball, see how it withstands being used in practices, games, things like that, and put a custom name on it so it's gonna look awesome. So again, this is a test, the TRW Lab. We're gonna test different ideas and different things that we think, try to think outside the box a little bit to give you ideas of things that you can sell for your business to help you make some money. But we'll, we'll do it today, we'll press it on today. A couple weeks from now, we'll come back, we'll revisit this soccer ball, let you know how it turned out, and we'll either recommend yes, this is something great, let's go ahead and do it, sell it to your customers, or hey, this is what happened after those three weeks, don't do it, eventually they're gonna come back and say, hey, the name came up. So what I'm gonna do, come over here. The, now the materials we're using here today, obviously we just grabbed a, a soccer ball, this is my son's soccer ball, and we have our regular household iron, then we just have a little mini crafting iron, then we also used our pick tool, some scissors, and our black Easy Weed Stretch. So this is our Easy Weed Stretch. So as you can see, we have our name right here, Jackson. And we're going to do this name onto the ball right here and just see what it looks like. Now, again, we need to see and kind of test things. We're not sure, and we haven't tested this at all yet with the soccer ball, so we're not sure if the iron's gonna melt the soccer ball or what it's gonna do. We want you guys to see it with us as we do it here. So let's go ahead and head over to our little workstation here. Now what I'm gonna do is I want my, basically my adhesive on the back to stick to the soccer ball a little bit more. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna grab some of my hot fix tape that I use for rhinestones and just cut off an area a little bit larger, just so it's gonna to stick to this, this ball better when we're doing the iron part of it. So, as you can see now, I have my Easy Weed Stretch just on some hot fix tape that I know can withstand the heat of this iron. And then where do we have our name? We have our name right there, so I'm just gonna go right below it. And now I have Jackson right there. So now what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna apply a whole lot of pressure, but I wanna get right to that area. And as you can see here, we just wanna see what's gonna happen. Is it gonna melt it? Is it gonna bubble it up? To see if this is something you can actually sell. And that's the whole point of the TRW Lab here is to obviously try and give you ideas. Try and We want to waste our material. We don't want you wasting your materials or your soccer balls or whatever it is. We want to be able to give you the ideas and say, you know what, we recommend doing this. This is something that's going to work that you're going to be able to sell. Now, I'm not doing a whole lot of actual pressure here. I just want the heat to be able to get into it, to be able to activate it, and hoping that the Easy Weed Stretch has the capability to be able to withstand when somebody kicks the soccer ball or or anything as it kind of compresses as it's kicked or or thrown around things like that so it looks like we're getting pretty good results here so far i'm not really seeing any bubbling up and as you can see i'm just moving it around not a whole lot of pressure and let's see if we're good now i'm going to pull this off and that's looking pretty good. Now it looks like, as you can see, it heated up a little bit here at the very top where you can see a little bit of a bubble. What I'm actually going to do and try out here is I'm just going to pinch it with my pick tool there and see if I can make that bubble go away to where it looks good. And that's what's nice about this. I want you guys to see the entire process of how we do it to see if it's actually gonna work. So, there you go there. You can see the Jackson now is in there good. Now what I'm gonna do is just kind of stretch it around, move it, hit it, just to test it, and it looks like it's staying on there pretty good. So let's go back to our main camera here. 
So you can see, this is something that's obviously going to look a lot nicer than someone just writing a name on there where it's with our easy weed. And you can see as I hit it at different angles, you're gonna punch it, hit it, do whatever you want. As it's compressing that stretch, the easy weed stretch is actually holding up to that. Now it's just a matter of getting it out onto a soccer field where they're kicking it every day, where it's wet, where it's raining, anything like that. It's hitting goalposts, anything else to see how good this actually holds up. But you can see as I compress it here, everything's looking pretty good with it right now. And if it stays on, this could be a pretty cool idea that you could, I mean, again, you have pennies in the material right here and you could charge someone $5 to put a custom name on their soccer ball or, or whatever it is. So just another idea here at the TRW lab that we wanted to share with you, we wanted to try out, but we will revisit this actual soccer ball here in a few weeks, let you know how it turned out and, and let you know, hey, we think this is something with the easy weed stretch that you should do and you may be able to offer it to your customers to be able to do something pretty cool with their soccer ball or whatever it is. So hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this edition of the TRW Lab here. If you do have any questions anytime, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. This is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com. You guys all have a great day.